2014, an asteroid the size of a city named Karikla was discovered to have two mysterious belts. It was a surprise, for belts were only found around huge bodies like Saturn. But how did the belts form around such centaurs smaller than our own moon? Today I'll take you to the steps to explain a possible way belts could have formed around Karikla. But we cannot go to space to demonstrate this, so we're going to use computer simulations to recreate the belts. Step 1. Orbital Mechanics for a particle to form a circular belt, it must have a specific speed modeled by Newton's inverse square law of gravity and the centripetal force. To orbit, the greater the asteroid's mass and shorter the distance, the faster the particle should be. Step 2. Escape velocity. Where did these particles come from to form the belts? Perhaps from out there. By shooting particles under the escape velocity, I can make sure no particles escape out there forever. However, none of them form a circular belt. They return back to the start point or crash into the poor asteroid. It's like throwing things at a friend who cannot catch anything. If the particle's not from out there, then it must be from in here, the asteroid itself. Perhaps the asteroid was hit by something, then particles flew off. With no particle escaping, everything was going to go all right. No. Just like before, when the particles flew off, they all came back to its original position. No belts were made. Well, if this doesn't work, then something must hit the particles to change its route to form a belt. Step 3. Collisions Partial elastic collision is like a mix of elastic collision when mechanical energy is conserved between two bodies and inelastic collision when one body loses mechanical energy. The middle of the two best reflects how the rock particles will behave in real life. But never have I known that what hit the particles are the particles themselves. It works! Thanks to partially elastic collisions, the same physics made the belt possible. Part 4, Centripetal Force. Now the shrewd among you might ask, all these particles were along the equator, but what about other latitudes? Karakla only has two belts, but this theory would make infinitely many belts. What a mess. Well, remember the centripetal force in orbital mechanics? At the equator, the large radius has enough velocity to launch the particles into the belts. But at higher latitudes, the radius cannot provide enough velocity to make an orbit. With thousands of the particles launching just around the equator, one belt can successfully be formed. Mission accomplished! Ish. It's true that this is just a possible explanation with basic physics. There might be more things not yet discovered. But congratulations! Today, you learned about orbital mechanics, escape velocity, collisions, and the centripetal force and especially how these four concepts work in conjunction to form belts around even the smallest objects. Thanks for watching.